Hi there, Debbie Anderson here from Inner Liberation Healing. I'm here to help you on your healing journey to heal from toxic relationships and raise your consciousness using science, spirituality, and education. So today I'd like to talk with you about the superpower of meditation to help you get through anything. So I know you may be feeling discouraged and even hopeless now because of the state of the world and you might feel disconnected and alone. The restrictions and controls that have been placed upon us by our own governments for our safety in the pretense that we were all in this together is just the tip of the iceberg. So I had to remind myself that I was the one that was in the control of my life and the government or another person cannot control me or my life. Although it may feel like that, we are very powerful beings. So the first thing I did was remove myself from watching the mainstream media. And this alone helped me uh, to begin to feel less discouraged. Day after day with the consistent bombardment of negativity only drives fear and fear causes us to get stuck, even paralyzed, including losing our focus. So I made the decision for me to stop listening to the media. I needed to unplug from the news and I'm very careful about what I listen to and what I watch. When I began to realize I was not being true to myself and loving myself, getting pulled into dark energies and understanding that this was not serving me in any way, I knew I had to find a way out of this. I knew I could not help myself or others if I was pulled down into a fear frequency, not because I had other things going on in my life, but specifically related to watching the media daily. And this was the first step that I took. My first experience uh, in telling you this is because I want you to know how powerful the media is and how powerful this has control over our thoughts. So I'm sharing you you uh, I'm sharing with you this in hope that it may help you I know that people will believe whatever they do and it's not up to me to convince you of anything and I'm not trying to do this I just wanted to tell you about my own experience and my experiences specifically with what's been going on in the world and how I help myself so I had been in a very controlling dark relationship in my past and this narcissistic relationship is now over and has been for many years but the feelings that I was having and feeling very controlled uh, were similar to what I had experienced in this relationship. I can see that the current controlling of our privileges in life is not healthy, and I begin to feel that this is very wrong, but I needed to figure out how to manage this and live my life despite the restrictions. The thing is, is we all have incredible power within us, power that is available to all of us. However, we need to rise above the lower energies around us by doing some simple things regularly things that are easy but are truly life-changing. I know this sounds very airy-fairy, woo-woo, but believe me, it's not. And I will talk about the easy ways to help yourself during these current stressful times and during any stressful time that you may encounter. I realized that I had to find ways to deal with the overwhelming feelings that I was having during this pandemic, which felt much like I'd felt, as I said, with my controlling narcissistic partner. I felt afraid, sad, and controlled, and I knew I had to do something to help myself during this time of chaos, which is called the pandemic. One of the ways to do this is to get into a flow of all that is and reconnect with this powerful energy through meditation. Tapping in and going within by using meditation is very, very powerful, and it costs nothing. It will change your life, and it will wake you up again to your own power, the power that has always been inside you. Meditation will change your life. For real, it will change your life, and it will help you deal with current, the current global situation. It will not only help you deal with it, it will stop the fear you're having and stabilize you and your life, and it will help you have a better day, period. Meditation has been around for centuries, and it is truly one of the best ways to free yourself from whatever bondages you believe you have. If you can connect to the source of all that is, you will find peace in the answers you are seeking. It will help you get back easily when you've been knocked down. You will not feel alone any longer and it will find a deep connection to the source, the source of love. You will realize as I did that this situation is only a world reset and it is not the end of life. It is the beginning of a new life which has been long overdue. We have been depleting the planet and stripping it of its resources and it is time 
for us to see things in a different light and change our ways. We need to be kind and loving to each other and our animals, and we need to truly see that we are one. This is the part of what I have learned when I meditated. Meditation will help you see things differently. When you, when your life, when you live your life from your heart, meditation allows you to be in the present moment and allows thoughts to flow through you without judgment, allowing emotions to pass through you. It is being in the moment 100%. The stress you feel is real, but I guarantee if you start to meditate, all the stress you have will begin to disappear. So, psychologist Fritz Perls, the founder of Gestalt Therapy, said, you need to lose your mind and come to your senses. And this is exactly what you do with meditation. It's how it's done. You'll need to stop your monkey mind, ultimately surrendering, and you will stop fighting with your mind. You are not your thoughts. You are not your emotions. You are the observer behind them. And when you realize this, you will learn to meditate, which will change your life forever. This is a major way to learn to deal with the stress you're experiencing now and any time. Learning how to become still within when thoughts you do not want come to your mind. You will learn how to accept the thoughts and not judge the thoughts, allowing them merely to pass by. This is meditation. So if you're having a thought that you label as negative, for example, COVID-19 is going to be the reason for the end of the world. You do not need to try and control the thought and say, hey, thought, go away. You simply say, I'm not bothered by you, and I don't care if you stay or leave. You are just a thought, and I am not you. I am merely experiencing you for a brief moment in time. Meditation will allow you to see things as they are. It is allowing yourself to see things in the present moment and absorbing yourself in this moment. You'll begin to realize that the power is in the now. People often believe that daydreaming is meditation. If you are thinking about the past or the future, you are not meditating. Meditation is being in the present moment. This is very, this very second. It is called mindfulness because you are aware of now and what is going on right now. Mindful of the present moment. The more you're aware, the more aware that you are, being aware of where you are right now is meditating. If you're thinking about the difficulty you've been experiencing due to the current situation, then you're not meditating. You're caught up in the past. Meditation is life streaming. That is meditation. The awareness of yourself and your surroundings in the moment. The awareness of every sensation. If, me if meditation is new for you and you're just starting out, then learn how to focus on only one of your senses as you meditate. Begin with your breath and focusing on your breathing. So in fact, you breathe in and hold it and breathe out, doing each part to the count of four. For each, for each inhalation, for example, you count four while you're breathing in, hold the breath for four, and exhale for the count of four, as simple as that. And focus on how you're breathing and how this makes you feel. When you're comfortable with focusing on your breathing during your medica meditation, you can then move on to listening to what is going on in your environment and paying attention to each sound. Meditation is not about trying to control your thoughts. It's about realizing you are not your thoughts. It is about allowing and tapping into the flow of energy within you. It's easy to get caught up in the distraction of the world and the negative. As soon as many people open their eyes in the morning, they go right on their phones to some social media, some texts or emails, which is not a good way to start your day. These days, the media and the social media platforms are all about the lockdowns, the masks, the social distancing, the COVID-19 deaths, etc. And this is a very bad way to start your day. Meditation is about letting go and being one with all that is. The perfect place to meditate is anywhere, but medita meditating outside is amazing. You will see that there is no separation and we are all one with everything. Seeing that there is no other, there is only one. The coming together, and we are all one, and separation is merely an illusion that doesn't exist. We have all been separated from the source of all that is by our cultures, our religions, race, nationality, lifestyles, and we are even separated within ourselves, meaning our body and our mind. We need, we need to learn to lose the separation of the body and the mind within us, and also the separation from others and, and everything. We simply have our own unique experiences, but we are all just one. Begin meditating by finding a quiet place where you won't be interrupted or distracted, and this will help you tune in. You'll find that being within yourself before you had all the conditioning in your life, this is meditation. 
Who were you before you had all the beliefs placed inside you and all that education and the rules? This is medica meditation. Reconnecting with your authentic self and learning how to be and not do. Practice every day. You can find some meditation music on YouTube at 438 HC. Put it on in a quiet place and begin by breathing in to the count of four, holding it for four and exhaling for the count of four and do it for 15 minutes to start. 15 minutes of your day, that's all you need to start and this will begin to grow your awareness. Get caught up in the moment of the breathing and this will help you more than I can say. We have all the answers that we'll ever need inside us and we can access these answers by meditation. This is how to help you not only get through this current chaos, but how to find stillness and then dance through this illusion call, some call the matrix of life. Losing your mind and coming to your senses through meditation is really a powerful, powerful thing. It will help you in ways that you will not believe. I can also help you if you are in a situation that you are ready to get healed from. A controlling situation perhaps a toxic relationship I did it I was in a narcissistic relationship for 14 years and many years after that because of child care issues and I'm truly a different person now person now that I'm healed you and the rest of the planet need you to heal and please please reach out to me I'm here to answer your questions and help you as you need as always I wish you only the best in your healing journey and if you would like to leave me a comment you can reach me on several platforms including Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Please take care and much love to you.